Morning everyone, welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash It. In this video I've got the Latitude E7240 and I'm going to be walking you through how to install Windows 8.1 Pro on it. So let me start the laptop. Now the first thing I want to do is, because this is something I've experienced, if you are getting an error message when you're installing Windows 8.1 Pro and the, the error message is invalid partition table, then this is how you solve that issue. So I've just started the laptop, I've gone into, I've pressed F2 to go into the general setup and then on the boot sequence here, I was on legacy and I've changed it to UEFI. Okay, so if you change it to UEFI and you're struggling with Windows 8.1, a Windows 8.1 Pro installation, then hopefully this will cure it. And after you've done that, come down to these options at the bottom right, click apply, and then do exit. Okay, so let's, there we go, it started itself again, and then what I've done is I've gone to the boot menu by pressing F12, and I'm gonna to go to the UEFI boot, and I'm gonna to go to the general U disk and hopefully this will mean a smooth installation. So they're all set, the language, the time and currency and the keyboard are all set to the US, which is fine at the moment. So just clicking all the install buttons. Okay, and I'm gonna accept the license agreement. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to install, do an advanced install. So I'm going to get rid of all of these partitions. Just to be nice and neat. Okay, and then we go into next. So this is where the files from the USB stick, which has got the England, uh, the Windows 8.1 Pro software on it, are transferred over to the laptop. So I'm going to pause this and then come back when it's much more advanced. Okay, so the file swap is very, very nearly over, and in a few seconds we'll go to the first restart as part of this installation. Now let me quickly tell you a bit about this laptop. The E7240 was actually released back in mid 2014, so it's over eight years old. It's got an i5 fourth generation processor in it. It came with four gigabytes of RAM. I've now installed eight gigabytes of RAM and it came with 128 gigabyte solid state drive. It's got a 12 and a half inch touch screen, which is fully H, uh, which is full high definition. And I got this particular laptop on eBay in the UK for 50 pounds, including postage. And you can see that the screen's a bit duff. It's got um, some blemishes, bottom left hand corner, and bottom right hand corner and it's also got a line a pixelated line 
as you can see there, just left of the Dell logo. But there are plenty of these available, which have, which are fully fully functional. Have got working screens and stuff. just got to name some things here create some accounts okay so we're gonna I'm just gonna do my password into my Wi-Fi okay so it's, it's connected to my Wi-Fi which is fantastic I'm just gonna use the Express settings okay I'm just gonna pause again to sign into my Microsoft Okay, so I don't want to connect to SkyDrive or OneDrive. I've, I've just logged in successfully. It's just sent a code, a security code to my phone as well to make sure it's me. And here we go. This is the final part of the setup. Now the E7240 is a 64-bit machine and when previously I tried to install the Windows 8.1 Pro 32-bit version it didn't load lots and lots of the drivers just weren't loaded at the end of the installation and one of those drivers that wasn't loaded was actually the Wi-Fi so this is really encouraging that it's actually immediately joined the Wi-Fi so the lesson is, if you've got a 64-bit machine, try and try to install only a 64-bit version of the operating system. And there we go. This looks great. The resolution looks absolutely fantastic. So the installation time here is, I would say, around eight or nine minutes. Let me just get my notes. Yeah, I would say that's taken about nine minutes to do that full installation if I took away some of the time that I was wasting looking up Wi-Fi codes, uh, passwords and things like that. Thank you for watching.